Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 for free. If you are using genuine product key, this video is for you. You can easily upgrade to Windows 11 without losing your data. Okay. So what are the requirements for the Windows 11? Okay. So these are the requirements for the Windows 11. This is compulsory. You should have TPM 2.0, which is enabled and you can enable it from the BIOS check and the second thing you need to have the at least 64 GB storage Intel Core if you are using that Intel Core should be i3 and the 8th generation and above so these are the some basic requirements you can read out it I will link a website so that you can read more about the minimum requirement hardware requirements about the Windows 11 upgrades and okay so First, you need to download the PC Health tool, uh, PC Health Check tool. Okay, search on the search bar PC Health Check, and you will see the this link. Okay, just you need to click on this link. Okay, PC Health. I will also give this uh, website into my description box so that you can directly access this. Okay, since I have already downloaded it. What this will app will do, this app will scan all your hardware requirements if you have or not. Okay, so let me download this. So let me download this app. And then this, this will say what are the requirements. Okay. Let's make it. And I know my system is meeting the Windows 11 requirement. Now you need to click on this option. Okay, check now. Okay, you will see the this PC meets Windows 11 requirements and you can see the results. All the options is stick here. Processor secure boot is on. TPM is enabled. Processor i3 10th generation. Okay. And gigahertz also 3.60. Uh, 4 8 GB RAM I have. System 64 bit. So I have almost 1000 GB. So these are the system requirements I am fulfilling. So make sure you all the fulfilling these requirements. Uh, some of the hardware you can change this here like you can enable the TPM from your BIOS and the secure boot also make sure you have enabled from the BIOS but other things you cannot change so if your PC is not meeting the requirement do not perform this step okay so in order to update your windows to windows 11 make sure you are using the windows 10 updated version okay so how to check that plus window plus R button together and type here win V E R and at the point of uh, making video this 22 S2 is the latest version of Windows 10 so I can easily upgrade to Windows 11 so go to start menu click on setting icon Click on update and security. And in this process, your data is safe. If you want, to, if you still want to back up your sensitive data, you can do, but your data is safe in this case. So there is no developer version at all. You don't need to sign in in any other developer version. When the Microsoft launched the last year, you had to sign in with their insider program, but you can directly download and install windows 11 now okay if you have any pending updates you need to check for updates and update all the windows to 22 s2 okay so i am clicking on this option download and install this will take uh, four to five hours to upgrade from the windows 11 so make sure you have enough time so i am clicking on this option download and install and i will show you after upgrading accept terms and condition now 
you can see the status is downloading and first it will download and then after that you will get the status of installing you will get your fresh windows 11 so i'm pausing this video for right now you can check the time and i will show you later after windows 11 upgradation okay and for the time being you can minimize it i'm pausing this video for right now so now you can see install installing is in a progress and downloading has been finished and it took almost you can see the time here uh, it will also go to 100 percent so let me also pause this video now you can also get this message making sure so now it is almost two hours okay and uh, you can see installation is 63 percent now you don't need to do anything now so leave it here we go now now installing 94 percent and it took almost three hours you can see here the time wait for the hundred percent okay so now it is 90 and it is hundred percent now now the now i am getting the option restart now or the schedule the restart okay so i am going to restart my system click on restart okay restart anyway now you can see restarting the system so here is the windows 11 logo and let's wait it is welcoming now so here is the windows 11 now you can see here and it's loading now okay so this is how so this is my fresh windows 11 now you can see here and it's loading so let's wait so there is no loss of data as well and it's opening the by default path which i have opened here okay let me close this and this is my new windows 11 okay so this is how it took almost five to six hours to fully upgrade from the windows 10 to 11 but uh, i have logged in after four three to four hours later so hope this video is useful for you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching